I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak with Weather 2020. Today is October 4th, 2025. For those of you that have been following the LRC for the last couple of decades, you know what that means. Day one of the LRC is literally a day or so away. October 5th, 6th, or 7th is always considered the first day of the new weather pattern we will experience in a year ahead. And there are major changes going on. So let's take a look. Let's start by taking a look at the satellite picture. And you can see in the tropics, this is your tropical update today. And you can see in the tropics, we do have some energy coming off of Africa. And it looks like we're gonna end up with tropical storm Jerry soon. There's also a system in the Gulf of Mexico. You see this thing right here? Wait till you see what this is in just a second. I'll share that with you coming up here. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint and I will start it here from the beginning. And you can see today is October the 4th. I didn't change the date on there yet, but October 4th, 2025. Here is September 27th. Look at that. This was Hurricane Humberto on September the 27th. Major hurricane, category five hurricane. And just go back 42 days earlier to August 16th. And look, there's Category 5 Hurricane Erin. Category 5 Hurricane Erin, Category 5 Hurricane Humberto, right on schedule predicted. Both of these predicted by Weather 2020 and the LRC as far as 10 to 11 months earlier. And these two hurricanes were two of only four of the 44 Category 5 hurricanes in recorded history that did not make landfall. So Aaron did not make landfall as a tropical storm. Humberto did not make landfall as a tropical storm. They're both related. It's not a coincidence. Another LRC fact. The weather pattern is cycling. Last year's cycle, about six weeks long, and those are 42 days apart. What's going on right now? Take a look at this. We have an X over the Gulf of Mexico, south of Louisiana today that I just showed you. There's also a disturbed area near Florida. Neither of these are expected to form into anything. And then there's this that's likely going to become Jerry in the next week. So something we'll watch closely. But just like the others this season, this one's likely to stay out to sea. And then it's a wild card from there for late October and November. But look at this. Related to Hurricane Raphael in Cycle 1. We're in Cycle 9 now, and this is related to Cycle 1. Isn't that amazing? So here it is. This is this morning on October the 4th, 2025. You can see here this disturbed area. It's unlikely to develop into anything. However, it's exactly on Cycle. 328 days after Raphael. Raphael was a Category 3 hurricane. So here's Raphael on November 8th last year. And here is this morning's disturbance. I will argue with you that this is right on target. October 5th is when we thought there might be one exactly right here. And there is one, but in November it was a hurricane, a Category 3, and in October, 11 months later, it is just a disturbance. So let me just tell you, we thought it would, would become a, a major hurricane in August or now, all right? Mid-August or now, and it did not. So here's one that did not happen that we predicted and yet, it's there. You can't make that up. So there's also a disturbance coming across the Rockies then and now as well. This next one, this is the forecast for October the 8th, about four days from now. This will likely become a tropical storm and then eventually possibly a strong hurricane. But again, it's probably going to go north of the islands and curve out to sea, but we've got to watch it because the weather pattern is in massive transition right now, and this is caught in the change. But this is likely going to become Tropical Storm 
Jerry is the next name, as you can see here. Jerry, just the tenth one of the season. This is the map we showed you last week where the Euro AI showed this powerful jet stream diving in by October the 12th. It didn't happen. However, now almost all the models have energy coming across the Pacific, a very strong jet stream forecast to develop. What you're looking at here, here's the United States, the West Coast. There's the Mexico border. Here is the United States border with the Atlantic Ocean and Canada. And the jet stream is very strong coming across the Pacific and diving into this storm that may produce severe thunderstorms and mountain snow uh, within uh, about 12 days. This is the forecast for the 15th of October, 11 days from now. But look at that. A completely different pattern is evolving right before our eyes. Very interesting, as you can see there. So when there's an energy like this in southern Colorado, it likely means severe thunderstorms will be breaking out, possibly some very heavy rain. However, the pattern is in the process of massive change. The new LRC is setting up right now. And we'll see how this looks here in a few days because it's still changing. Snowfall-wise, 40 inches of snow forecast in northern Alaska in the next 12 days or so. Look at that. 40 inches in that little white spot there. It's right in here, 40 inches or so. And down into the Rockies, even some snow at some of the ski areas in Colorado forecast in the next dozen days or so. And lots of snow forming over northern Canada. So cold air masses will be building up here. Notice that is a change. And then I didn't get the last map on there, which is the rainfall totals. But the rainfall totals are also forecasted to be up to six inches or more on some of the models in the plains. So things are a changing. All right, so there's your tropical update. The system in the Gulf of Mexico is likely not to, not going to uh, change. The system in uh, the Atlantic, we're going to be monitoring that one closely for tropical storm Jerry that could become a strong hurricane. No immediate threats to land. That's your tropical update today and an LRC update. More on Tuesday as the LRC will be in full force starting by then. Thank you for being premium members. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak. Go to weather2020.substack.com and also like this channel too.